Hello, so I wanted to give you a quick orientation to Easy Animator and a lot of these things that I'm showing for Easy Animator are, are the same for Easy Animator Pro. So um, what you really probably want to start with is some kind of imagery to animate. So you can do that by clicking on the import button. Easy Animator supports SVG, PNG, and SWF files. So if you don't have any of those, if you need to convert them, you can use generally a free program called Inkscape or you can use Gravit.io as well. Both of those are free and allow you to edit graphics and create graphics. And if you wanted to add text, for example, you can you know, add, create some text and you know, I'll, I'll, talk, I'll show you that in another video. But anyways, I, I can go ahead and select this. I'm gonna remove that and I'm just gonna go ahead and import again. And you can see here sometimes they come out of order and all I have to do is just kind of drag over here and change the order to get them to work right. After that, I can start uh, applying different animations. And one of the things I want to show you is how to you know, do things really fast. And one of the secrets to that is use the state option. So I'm going to go ahead and click on state. And then I'm going to click on these different options. And what that does is it applies that animation uh, options to all of the different images here. And you can see in the preview that they're all doing something. Now, in order to kind of have something be different um, I can you know just to kind of see that each anim animation or image is animating independently I've just added a, a little bit of a delay for the second and third images and so they go pop 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 right into view right so very cool fun and easy now if I wanted to do that also to the, the pause option I can come over here and just make a selection I can also of course change the time and if I want to once again um, do the same thing for it to leave let's let's do something different maybe have it uh, go out from the bottom or something like that so there's a bunch of different options that you can do and the state options just allow you to do it a lot quicker you know do some fast things and you can always just select the individual image and change it if you don't want it to be the same so for example I can have uh, these different images go out in different directions when they leave and uh, do fun stuff like that. So now if you want to, you a couple shortcuts down here help you speed things up also. Say for example, you don't want any out animation. I can just turn that all off and it turns them off for all of the different images. That's what all of. And so if I want them back on, no problem, just click all on. Uh, also, if I don't want a pause animation, I just want it to be static in the middle. Sometimes you want that if you have, say, an animation for where text is going to appear on top of it. You can easily do that and just go ahead and, and uh, do an all pause none. So there's also the presets. There's not very many, but they do serve as a way to do some good, just do a quick start. by It it's applies animation across all the states for all the images, no matter how many you've imported. And so that's a pretty cool feature also. And of course, it, there's a ton more inside of Easy Animator Pro. So those are the basics. Now you can uh, select the individual images over here, uh, as I was showing you, to apply them animation. But you can also select them in order to move them. So you can do stuff like that as well. So that is uh, just, the, just the basics of Easy Animator. And other videos, I'll show you how to get even more out of Easy Animator and Easy Animator Pro.